Introducing the Avengers family. Come on up. Alex, Samantha, Robbie, David, and Nancy, welcome to the feud. Welcome. And in this corner, introducing the Tribal Knowledge family. Tina, Debbie, Lisa, Anne Marie, and Dan. On your marks, let's start the family feud with a star of family feud, your host, me, Tim Jacks. seats now. Thank you so much. Hello everybody and welcome to Family Feud, the very special project management edition. Before the team captains uh, introduce our teams, I'd like to explain the rules. We obtained answers to our survey questions prior to the symposium by soliciting all our attendees ahead of time and have used their answers to determine the most popular answers. Our contestants will then try to guess the most popular answer to each question. Each round will begin with a face-off to determine who will control the board. During the round, each incorrect answer will result in a strike. <coughs> You'll know it when you hear it. After the third strike, the opposing team has a chance to steal control of the board. The board. Up there. Let's uh, meet our, our contestants. You, sir, welcome to the Family Feud. What's your name? Dan Schillinger. And where do you work? I work for Agility Corporation. Excellent. Welcome. Fantastic. Welcome. Tia Purcell. I'm with Mallinckrodt Pharmaceuticals. Nice. Lisa Mitchell with Guthrie. Welcome. Debbie Reynolds. I'm a movie star. <laughs> Excellent. Welcome. <laughs> team, that was Team Tribal Knowledge. Now for Team Avengers. What's your name and where do you work? David Roscoe with Del Run. Nancy Eastman with Doherty, currently at Charter. Alex Courtney at Scott Trade. We have potential Edward Jones. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Welcome, Team Avengers. Thanks for playing. Uh, team captains, would you please join me at the podium? Right here. Stand right there. Yeah, get. <laughs> Excellent sportsmanship. That's, that's your, hands behind your back. All right, place your hands behind your back. Only press the buzzer when you have an answer. I need the questions. Yeah. Out of all the people surveyed, the top answers will be on the board. You've got to try to find the most popular answer. Here's your first question. As a project manager, what is your favorite method of collaboration? <laughs> yes, sir. Brainstorming. Show me brainstorming. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so you, you have a chance here. If you can uh, name something uh, popular that's your favorite method of collaboration. SharePoint. Show me SharePoint. Oh, the number one answer. Excellent. Team Avengers has control of the board. Thank you, sir. Okay, next contestant. Nancy. I'm going to go with team meetings. Team meetings. Team meetings. I like that answer. Team meetings are good. That's my favorite way to spend the day. Team meetings. <laughs> face to face. Excellent. Well done. Top five answers on the board. What is your favorite method of collaboration? Email. Show me email. Nice. Let's march you through this. Yes, ma'am. As a project manager, what is your favorite method of collaboration? One-on-one -on -one meetings. Ooh, one-on-one -on -one meetings. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's two strikes. One more strike, and the other team gets a chance to steal. 
That's your that's your first strike. So two more strikes and then they get a chance to steal. This is not a real game show. <laughs> Rodney, welcome to Family Feud. What is your favorite method of collaboration? Uh, I would say team meetings, virtual or otherwise. Virtual or otherwise team meetings. Judges. <laughs> oh, web conference, very nice, okay. Team Avengers or Avenging. <laughs> what is your favorite method of collaboration? Another one. Actually, in this, in the special edition of Project Management Family Feud, we do allow team conferring. <laughs> Focus in on the focus group. Oh, no, you're still in it. You're still in it. Another method of collaboration. Do a quick conferral if you like. The other team can get ready with the confer about an answer, just in case. Lunch, lunch, my favorite, as long as it comes with drinks. Show me, oh, oh, valiant effort, Team Avengers. So, tribal knowledge, do we, uh, do we have a chance to steal? If you uh, can guess number four, you'll win all the points on the board. Might be, might be, let's see if it's up there. Okay, for the steal, otherwise the first team gets uh, the first round. Show me teleconferencing. Oh, so the first round goes to Team Avengers. With the uh, next two contestants, please join me for a face-off round. Up here. Oh, show me, show me number four. Oh, instant messaging. Okay, thank you. You're keeping me straight, thank you. Come on up. <laughs> Out of 100 people surveyed, top answers are, will be on the board. Here's your question. As a project manager, what do you think is the greatest risk to a project's schedule? Yes, ma'am? Resource availability. Show me resource availability. Very nice, very nice. But first, second team has a chance. If you can guess the most popular answer, what do you think is the greatest risk to a project schedule? So it has to be the number one. <laughs> I don't know, maybe scope creep? Ooh, let's creep for <laughs> scope creep. Oh, number one, well done, thank you. All right, move down the line here. Tina, you're with Malcroft. How, how long have you been with Malcroft? For five years. What do you do there? I work in medical affairs. Excellent. Uh, what do you think is the greatest risk to a project schedule? Budget availability. Ooh, show me the money. Budget availability. <laughs> Judges. Okay, okay. I thought that was a good answer. Greatest risk to a project schedule. Your, your, your team can help you out. Oh, I like that. Material covers a lot of ground. Show me material availability. to see that mouse move across the screen, don't you? Supplier delays. Show me supplier delays. Or vendors. Oh, that, oh that, 
Was that your third? Yeah. Oh, I hope you guys have uh, have thought of one. All you have to do is name one that's up there, and you win all the points. Yeah. Talk to the team captain here. David, uh, what do you what do you do for a living? Project manager. <laughs> and how long and how long have you been doing that? Seven years. Okay, so so you should have a really good answer for this. The greatest risk to a project schedule. We have to say changing requirements. Changing requirements. If it's up there, you win all the points. Show me changing requirements. Oh, great. So uh, Team Avengers wins that round. Congratulations. Let's see uh, number three. Okay. Number four. And number five. <laughs> Just to clarify, if the number's the same, we go with the order that they are on the board. So no arguing about anything. Uh, after that round, the score for the Avengers, 132. Two. Nothing. <laughs> Will uh, the next contestants please join me up at the podium? Come on up. Sportsmanship, I like it. Is that in the pinball? All right, give one. All right, 100 people survey, top answers are on the board. As a project manager, what functional areas of business do you find most challenging? What functional area of business do you find most challenging? Yes, ma'am. IT. Why did I know you're going to say that? Oh, show me the geeks. Oh, number two, great. So, wait, come on, come on back. If you can guess, thank God there's one worse than IT. If you can guess the number one most popular answer, what functional area of business do you find most challenging? Business. <laughs> Show me business. Okay, Team Tribal Knowledge, you have control of the board. Well done. Hello there. Tell us where you work again. Scott Trey. What do you do at Scott Trey? Excellent. How long have you been doing that? A couple years. Okay. So do you have, what do you think about the the functional area of business that you find most challenging as a project manager? Management. Ooh, the pointy-haired boss. Show me management. Oh. Are you a project manager also? You're a movie star. <laughs> Well, still, we'll, we'll give you a shot at this. What uh, functional area of business would you find most challenging? HR. Ooh, pick on the, they're so sensitive, those HR <laughs> folks. Don't pick on them. Show, oh, okay. That's two strikes. Back to you, sir. Risk management. Show me risk management. Good guess. That was very good. All right, the Avengers. Have you thought of a, a response? We'll have to go with legal. <laughs> oh, nice legal. So Team Avengers wins this round again. Show us number four. <laughs> number three. Let's see the scores after after round three. 155 to zero. All right, will the fourth contestant please join me up on the podium? Come on down. Welcome. 100 people survey, top answers are on the board. 
Name a Microsoft application or program that best describes your boss. Yes, ma'am. describes my uh, Excel. <laughs> Show me Excel. <laughs> uh, Samantha, is your boss here? No. Uh, I'm sure they'll be very pleased that you picked that application <laughs> to, to describe them. Uh, so Team Avengers has control of the board since that's the number one. Thank you. Yes, sir. Rob, you're with Boeing. How long have you been with Boeing? 17 years. You must like it at Boeing. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so, Rodney, name a Microsoft app that best describes your boss. Is your boss here today? No. Okay. I would say Microsoft Word. Show me Word to your mother. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I'm, I'm going in a... This is not a real game show, I'm going in reverse order. <laughs> Alex, Microsoft app that describe, best describes your boss. Outlook. Ooh, how about Outlook? Oh. Microsoft app that best describes your boss. Is your boss here today? Microsoft Project, very good, very good. The Microsoft app that best describes your boss, David. PowerPoint. Ooh. PowerPoint, great. Just one left, one left. Yes. How about another Microsoft app that best describes, another app that describes your boss besides Excel? Show me access. All right, Team Avengers wins it all. After round four, what are our scores? <laughs> 41. Moving on to round five. The fifth contestant, please join me at the podium. Round five. Welcome. Hands behind your back. Get, the, get that in range. I need to get that. Okay. 100 people survey, top answers on the board. Name an attribute that every good project manager should possess. Yes, sir. T leadership. Show me leadership. <laughs> All right, movie star. If you can name a more popular answer than that, an attribute that every good project manager should possess. Organizational skills. Ooh, organizational skills? Oh, great. Travel knowledge. Take control of the board. Thank you, sir. Dan, hello. Tell me where you work again. Agility Corporation. How long have you been there? Uh, they bought us out about uh, eight months ago. <laughs> I see, I see. And, and what do you think of the new uh, organizational culture? They are phenomenal. Right answer. Right answer, Dan. So name an attribute that every good project manager should possess. Communication skills. Communication skills. Talk to me. Number one. Great. Anne-Marie, an attribute? Conflict negotiation, is it up there? Uh, Sorry, that was a good guess, that was good. Name an attribute, Tina, that every good project manager should possess. Dependability or reliability. And we rely on reliability? Uh, oh, strike number two. Attribute that every good project manager should possess. Time management. What time is it? It's time for time management. Oh, these these were great answers. It's a fickle fickle board. I'm sorry. 
All right, Avengers, if you can name one of the most popular answers, an attribute that every good project manager should possess. Good listener. Show me listening skills. Avengers are avenging like crazy. So after round five, let's see the scores. Oh, what? Well, I'm sorry. Can you back up and show us the other? There's 200 minutes. Okay. In, thank you. Number seven. Okay. Number six. Good sense of humor. And number two. For round six, uh, team captains, join me at the podium, please. Come on up. Welcome back. Thank you. Next round will be the last one. <laughs> All right, are you ready for the question? Hands behind your back. What is the most popular website visited by project managers seeking a distraction from the daily grind? <laughs> Show me Google. Oh. What is a popular website visited by project managers seeking a distraction from the dirt? Almost said from the dirty grind. You can tell what I'm thinking of. Yes. Facebook. Show me Facebook. All right, Team Avengers, you have control of the board again. Where you work? I work for the morning at Charter. What do you do there? I'm a project manager. Nice. For how long? I've been at Charter five years and doing seven. Great, great. Popular website, maybe something on Charter's network. Uh, visited by a project manager seeking a distraction from the daily grind. The company homepage. <laughs> Show me Charter.net, the company homepage. Okay. Alex, a popular website to get away from it all. Amazon? Ooh, I see. I'm an Amazon whore myself. Show me Amazon. Oh. The website to get away from the daily grind. Twitter. Tweet, 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 tweet. Show me Twitter. Tribal knowledge. It's time to pull together some tribal knowledge. I have faith. We need a popular website visited by project managers seeking a distraction from the daily grind. We need help from the studio audience? I don't know. We need an answer. ESPN. Oh, ESPN. Show me the sports. ESPN. Hey, Team Tribal Knowledge wins that round. Good job, guys. After round six, show us the scores. Oh, show me number five. Number five. I'm new at this. Number four. And number one. Okay. Now show us the scores. That was round six. Nice. Round seven will be our final round. Uh, next contestant, join me at the podium for our final round of the feud. Project Management Special Edition. Welcome. Hands behind your back. 100 people surveyed. Top answers on the board. For a project manager, what is the greatest source of conflict on a project? People. <laughs> so a little general. Good, good luck, judges. Show me people. Oh, okay. If you can come up with a more popular answer, the greatest source of conflict on a project? Scope. Conflict over scope. Mouthwash. 
survey and leave it on your table when you're done. And now I'll turn it over to our very own project manager, Elise, uh, to present the prize. But first I want to show you a photo on the overhead of the project team that put this game show together for your amusement today. Can we see the photo of the project team? This is the project management CMIS 540 team. Thanks you for playing along. Thank you for playing with you. Bye-bye. 